I also tried testosterone replacement. I tried testosterone replacement and, uh, I mean, it just makes you just, I mean, it just, it just gives you so much virility. I mean, it'll make your penis reach for a damn deck of cards. I mean, it just, you so, it just, I mean, it just brings your body to life. And so suddenly you're more, you know, you'll just be doing nothing and your penis will jump into your own hand. It's just more, it's not that good. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to take it anymore. Um, it makes your hair thinner. You know, I, don't, I didn't like that. I find extra hair sitting around and I need my hair. You know, I, I definitely like having hair. So that's really strange. Um... And what else about it? Oh, uh, you also, they have, it's in, it's injection based. It's injection based, you know, and, um, I used to do steroids when I was young. Uh, you know, we used to shoot, you know, a lot of people know me and my buddy, um, Billy Conforto, R.I.P., and he died, and he was one of the premier bus boys in America. Also, probably one of the top, I would say, 40 gay prize fighters or gay boxers, fist fighters in, I would say, in the 1990s in America. In a, uh, maybe in the world. I would say in the world. Top 40 homoerotic fist fighters. In, I would say, in first world countries, and uh, I don't know, second world. You get into a second world country, bro. You get down there in Ecuador, bro, and a gay dude will beat the hell out of you, bro. It's nothing. That's casual. That's dancing. That's dancing for them. Um, but what was I talking about? Uh, man, I don't even know, dude. Oh. So, yeah, you also have to take this other drug with it. They have a drug also that, um, because if you take testosterone, it will, it makes your gonads, they call them gonads on the internet, but really it's your nuts. And it makes them smaller. And so you take another drug that makes your, basically makes your gonads regular size. It's kind of like a fluffer. It's like, uh, you ever put a little air in your bike tire a little? It's like that. It's like that, man. But, um, but anyway, I'm just real, I just don't think it's for me. So, I, uh, so I'm going to quit taking it. You know, I've tried it out. It's been about a month, maybe six weeks. And I just don't. I think the hair, I don't want to lose my hair, and I, I don't know. I don't know if I notice a lot of other benefits and stuff from it, really. Um, so, and then if you take the the, the the secondary drug that they have, if you, it, whenever you take that, it makes your, kind of makes your nuts feel like somebody hid something in them. It makes kind of it makes your nuts feel like somebody just blew all their breath, like somebody just like blew one mouthful of breath right into them. It's like you got this kind of you know, it's like you got this uh it's like a fl it's just like somebody just puffed your nuts up a little. So I don't like that feeling. It's like you're high it's like somebody hit a Easter egg right in your crotch or something. In your nuts. And that makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't like that feeling. It just feels fake. So. Anyway. So that's my experience with it. You know. And it's not. Um, and you get it. There's different ways you can get the testosterone replacement. It's for sale everywhere now. And. So I wanted to try it out. Uh, and. And the injection part is a little weird. Like, I don't trip out on it that much because I did it when I was young, you know, to bodybuild. 
So it's just a low dose, but it does make me feel, you know, uncomfortable, I feel like. Um, and it just the upkeep of it and stuff, I just don't feel like it's for me. That's kind of the conclusion that I've come to. So, um, but yeah, man, I think if I find a good church, I think that, 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 that's a good idea, you know? So I appreciate that, man. Um, what else was I talking about? You ever done any injectable drugs, Raleigh Mal? I mean, unless it's for surgery, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The thing that makes you go to sleep for surgery. Other than that, no. Anesthesia, you mean? Yeah, that. Okay. That, that's the thing. But you never just, you know, you and your buddy, you know, never pulled off the interstate and done steroids or anything like that? Nope. Unfortunately not. Well. No, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not one of those guys. I'm like, you know, the calm, innocent kind. Yeah, I don't, I don't do any of those drugs. I don't do any of those, like, injections or whatever. Um, I mean, you know me. I'm. Yeah. Well, I don't know you, but I am learning that, yeah, that is not your vice. Right. What would you say would you feel like is a vice? If people say, oh, Riley Mal, say it's your funeral. Okay, we're at your funeral. People are like, oh, Riley Mal, man, he's a great guy. You know, he uh, he was an Eagle Scout. He was a Christian. You know, he was a, um, he was a, a karate belt. He had a karate belt. He skipped lunch sometimes. He worked so hard. And what what would they say? But also, one of his vices was he did this. What would it be, you think? Um, Man, I don't know. Well, I guess people would say that I'm more the... I'm more the quiet kind of guy until you really get to know me. And then I'm just, like, obnoxious. Like, you will, you will regret wanting to get to know me because I'm, like, so obnoxious towards them. And I like, I like talking a lot. Um, other than that, um, wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm a pretty quiet dude other than that. Um, yeah. All right, man. That's something, uh, people called actually. We had a couple calls that came in here. Good evening. Good afternoon. And other times. Thanks for watching that video you just saw. I mean, it was okay, but the next video you could watch could be way better. What if you watch a video right now that changes your life? Well, you could watch this one or watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Watch this one. Ah!